<laughs> All right, we had a, uh, a a better day today. I thought guys responded, you know, better intensity, uh, focus. You know, it's as I talked about yesterday. You know, it's um, the great thing about football is it it you know, mimics so many things in life, and you know the human nature gets to show up, and you know sometimes you have to fight yourself against that. Uh, uh, those instincts of what you'd like to do. Um, you know, I love, you get an opportunity to have a bye week, you get a sense of, of where your team is and um, you know, the areas that you've got to continue to work and improve. And that is, uh, you know, yesterday, and, and uh, you know, going back and watching film, there are a lot of guys that did an outstanding job. Um, but there are a handful of guys that, you know, were not at, at the intensity level and, and I felt that on the field. Um, and, you know, it's a, it's a much smaller number than we've ever had here before. But you know, we still have to make the choice of, of what we're willing to give, what we're willing to invest. And, um, you know, I thought today we responded um, and I thought we got some good work. We got good situational work, um, still got, you know, you know, speed on speed with the ones versus ones. Um, and we're also able to get, you know, last two days we're able to get some of our players that haven't gotten as many game reps and maybe in practice reps, we were able to kind of focus on them. Um, and you know, help them continue in their development, which is big. You know, that's something we do every Sunday, um, you know, throughout the course of the season, just to see those guys grow and get better. Um, and you know, we've got some, we've, we've got some quality young guys. You know, we've got it's also an opportunity for guys that think they should be playing more to go prove it. And uh, you know, some guys are taking advantage of that, and some guys, you know, maybe not so much. But uh, you know, we're. Uh, we're, we're, we're working away at it. I'm excited about where we are. I think uh, you know it's going to be good to give give these guys a, a couple more days off here this uh, here to wrap up the end of the week, and then we'll come back Sunday. Um, you know, back into our game game week routine, and we got to go get better as a football team. How intentional do you, do you, are you guys when it comes to figuring out freshmen playing four games, redshirting, you know, balancing that? You know, for us, it's you know who gets an opportunity to impact for us to win. And I mean, there's, you know, I don't I don't ever want to just get game experience for game experience if they're if somebody's not ready to, to help this team, you know, be successful. Um, you know, we're, you know, I'm definitely aware of every play that every you know young guy gets, and some sometimes, um, you know, it's limited in in the course of a game. Um, you know, there are times where I will hold somebody unless it's an absolute emergency with the thought process of, of um, you know, what's ahead and, and to be able to keep the opportunity for a red shirt. But, um, you know, as we'll look, we'll get deeper into that here in the back stretch of some guys that you see that are that are continuing to grow up that I think are putting themselves in a position to help us. And, um, you know, if that if they if they continue on that path, then, you know, they will we'll definitely capitalize on those games. You guys, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be like, I'm, this, we're not getting this for until like what is it next Tuesday, Monday? I mean, uh, so, I mean we can ha end with one question. I'm gonna be awesome. You guys doing some stuff against the scout team? Is that already like you guys, or is that just? Um, you know, some of it was correction. Some of it was continued uh, conceptual understanding versus a variety of different looks. Um, so we, you know, I always want to continue with that, and it's, it's you know, part of the reason we go, go good on good. Um, you know, the things that the defense is working, you know, the offense is going to have to prepare for, whether that's in the game plan, um, you know, for that week, you know, and then you know, taking the times that we can get extra work, and the things that we do on Sundays too, where we might just take a concept, whether it's a run concept, pass concept, and throw as many different looks of it as we can, so that if it shows up in the game, our guys can can go. Even if it's not a great call or a great situation based off what we expected, there's still a best answer to, to what should be able to, to be executed. And um, you know, so we're just trying to get as many of those refs as we can as well. What will you guys do over the next few days? What's your message? Uh, the players, you know, we have, um, they've obviously got, you know, everybody that has in class, um, you know, uh, Attendance will be required to be in class. You know, there's a, uh, a good number of guys that are still, uh, you know, uh, have a balance of that in virtual, in some of the virtual uh, classes. So, um, you know, some guys will get a chance to go home for a few more days, but, um, you know, I'm sure a good majority of them will, will utilize the opportunity to get home, see their families. Um, you know, I just want them to be, be smart, be safe, um, making sure that uh, they're taking care of their bodies, utilizing the time that they have to, uh, to kind of rest up. Um, you know, there's, there's, a, there's probably, Probably a little under half will we'll still be here in Tallahassee, you know, just uh, you throughout the weekend. But uh, just make sure that they're making great choices and uh, utilizing this time to prepare them to be as best the best they can be come next week.
know you've been able to do it a little bit here and there on the recruiting trail, but how valuable is this weekend without a game getting to do that a little bit? Yeah, you know, we've tried to take advantage of as many opportunities as we could. And, uh, you know, I've, I've been on the road a few times already, um, you know, and, you know, I'll be I'll be at games tonight till till Saturday night. So it's, uh, you know, I'll be four straight just rolling, trying to get out. Um, you know, it's there's been so many challenges when it comes to recruiting since I've since I've been head coach here. There's so many limited limited uh, you know opportunities, and so trying to take advantage of all of those. Our coaches will all be uh, on the road and uh, uh, working through that, and um, yeah, that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna gonna do. What, what kind of content can you have? Just uh, it's evaluation period, so you know, we'll be able to go and see the co uh, see coaches and get a chance to visit with them. Um, you know, counselors at the school. You're trying to get all the the background information on, on each of these guys, but then uh, you know we'll hit a couple practices where I can go out and watch and evaluate a practice. We'll hit um, some games. So uh, just more than anything else, seeing the uh, the, the school personnel, and uh, but we can't have any contact with players. It looked like Malcolm Ray was pretty active again today. You know what you see. I've been really pleased with Malcolm, and uh, you know there were you, the last two weeks he's played the most reps of his career. Um, you know, last week there were some times where you know, he got a little high in his pad level and, and got uh, um, you know some learning experiences, but then there were also you know, he, he had some productive plays. You utilizing his, his speed and movements. Oh, Malcolm's talking to y'all today, huh? So he's look at him smiling over there. No, he's he's really done a nice job, and I'm excited about his future. He's a guy that we challenged in the uh, uh, the off season, and. Uh, you know, I think that he's just, he's one of the guys, he's been steady. He's been steadily uh, um, you know, working on his craft and uh, improving you know, each and every week. And when the opportunity presented itself, he was ready. And uh, you know, we need him to continue to grow and, and play at high level. How happy were you that the NCAA looks like they're going to get some relief with the transfers? Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, I think the roster management, uh, you know, part of, you know, how, of, of all the new things in college football, I mean, COVID obviously, um, you know, everybody getting an extra year throws a, a different dynamic to it. Uh, the transfer portal and just the, the number of people that are that are going out and, and coming in, uh, you know, with, so with the possibility of getting seven more, um, you still got to operate in your 85, which, you know, when you look at COVID and everybody having that extra year, you know, really it was part of our thought process, you know, of, uh, I think we took a hand, I mean, uh, five guys uh, that were uh, grad transfers that we knew were going to be in their final year of eligibility regardless to know that we're going to have those spots for sure. But then there's always going to be the dynamics of, uh, you know, some guys graduating, some guys, you know, moving on. And uh, so, you know, we'll, to, to be able to have some of that relief, I think is important. All right, All right guys, enjoy it. Thanks, guys. We'll see you all.